In the game of love, the winding journey of relationships and heartaches often leads to question if we'll ever find the person we can truly call a soulmate. After numerous attempts of building a life with someone, it becomes easy to become disillusioned and lose faith in the idea of a perfect union. But what if I told you that sometimes that the key to a successful and lasting marriage is right there in front of you in the form of a longtime best friend. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you a story about hope, resilience, and the power of a friendship. A tale that proves that even after multiple marriages that fail, you can still find your happily ever after. Imagine this, two friends with a track record of failed marriages, two for one and one for the other. They've been best friends for 36 years, but not to the extent that this relationship would interfere with their marriages that have failed. The way we know that they're best friends still is because after the two, three marriages have failed, they were able to come back together and pick up the pieces as if they were continuing the next day from decades gone by. Thus, they've been able to provide unwavering support and understanding throughout life's ups and downs. And then one day, after all the dust and smoke had cleared up from these previous relationships, they decided to take a leap of faith and to get married to each other. Now, you might be wondering, why now? What makes this union different from their previous attempts at marital bliss? Well, my dear friends, let's explore the reasons why marrying your best friends after years of friendship can be the most fulfilling and successful partnership of all. A lasting marriage is built on a foundation of trust, understanding, and respect. Qualities that have been nurtured over years of friendship. When you marry your best friend, you're not starting from scratch. This is not your beginning together. You're building on a solid foundation that has already been proven to stand the test of time and that has been strengthened by adversity. With this unbreakable bond in place, the couple is better equipped to navigate the challenges that come with marriage, ensuring greater resilience and stability. So in a world where first impressions matter a lot and superficial appearances are often prioritized, it's so refreshing to be with someone who knows you inside and out. When you marry your best friend, there is no need for pretenses, no masks or facades. You are who you are and they know it and you know them as well. You've seen each other at your best and your worst. And you still love and accept each other unconditionally. It's amazing. This level of authenticity and vulnerability creates a safe place for both partners to grow and flourish, resulting in a more satisfying and fulfilling relationship. A shared history gives couples a wealth of memories, inside jokes, and experiences that can deepen the bond and enrich their lives. This intimate knowledge of each other's past not only helps them to understand one another and where they came from, but it also provides a treasure trove of stories and moments to reminisce on and to cherish. This shared history can bring the couple closer together, fostering a sense of unity and a partnership that is hard to replicate in a newer relationship. Just think about it. Everything you've been looking for that you wanted in your previous relationships that may have failed you can have it with this long-term relationship. Being best friends for decades. And when we say best friends, we're not talking about a disruptive relationship like you're married and you're dreaming about your best friend. No, we're not talking about that. It's just before you got married, let's say you met this person when you were 18, 19 years old and you were best friends. Then they go on and they got married and you got married. Okay, the relationship of best friends did not really exist while you had this union of your marriage going on. However, the reason we say it's a 36-year-old best friend relationship is because when those marriages were over, you were able to pick back up where you left off 36 years or 20 years or 40 years ago. See, when you're best friends, you just pick up like it's the next day, even though decades could have passed. That's what we're talking about when we refer to best friends in a relationship. So you have a history of being able to communicate with each other effectively in a marriage that is a skill that is invaluable. You understand each other's needs, desires, and fears. Because you've talked about these things, not just once, 
not just five times, not just 10 times. You've talked about these things a lot. And because of this, you're able to express yourself more openly without fear of judgment or rejection. You can just be you, finally, at this level of open and honest communication. It not only helps when conflicts arise and misunderstandings happen, but it also fosters emotional intimacy and a strong connection between the partners. Last but not least, your best friend has been there through thick and thin, offering a shoulder to cry on, two good listening ears when nobody else was interested, or a word of encouragement at the right time. When you marry your best friend, you're entering into a partnership with someone who is not only your lover, but also your most steadfast ally. This is the team. You're on it. This emotional support provides a sense of security unlike any you've ever experienced and the reassurance that can make a marriage stronger and much, much, much more resilient. So to all those who have faced heartaches and disappointments in previous relationships or marriages in their quest for love, let this story serve as a beacon of hope and inspiration and share this video with your best friend. Marrying your best friend of 36 years after previously failed marriages, no matter the number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, doesn't matter. Man, you with your best friend. It's not a tale of defeat, but rather one of triumph. It's a testament to the power of friendship, perseverance, and the unwavering belief that true love can be found in the most unexpected of places. So when two people with a history of failed marriages decide to take the plunge and marry their longtime best friend, they are embracing an opportunity for a fresh start, one that is built on a rock solid foundation of trust, understanding, and love. This union stands as an example of the boundless potential for happiness and fulfillment that can arise when we open ourselves up to the possibility of love in all its forms. So in the end, it's not about how many times you have stumbled or fallen. It's about finding the strength to stand up once more and forge ahead. And sometimes that strength comes in the form of a lifelong best friend who's been by your side for so long and wants to support you. And you need the support and you want it too. If you're going to be honest, here's an opportunity for two hearts to finally come together and be in perfect harmony like one heartbeat. I mean, you can only get that from a best friend. It's true. And in some relationships, they become best friends in the marriage. And others, they were best friends before the marriage. Either way, it works out perfect for both partners. So my friends, never give up on love. Keep your hearts open. Cherish the friendships you've built and developed over the years. And remember that sometimes the most successful and enduring love stories begin where you least expect them with that one person that's been by your side for so long your best friend we want to thank you for watching our video and we hope to see you in the next one right here